This is a North American racer, and this is also a North American racer, and so is this. So then, what's going on here? They all look different, but they're the same? This is a species you're going to see a lot of on this channel because it's so common throughout the North American continent. There's also several different subspecies of this snake that occur throughout its range. In other words, they're all the same species, but they'll have a different appearance depending on where you go. For example, the subspecies of racer that you find in my home state is this, the Western Yellow-Bellied Racer. This is the only variant that can be found in the state of Utah. Louisiana, despite being a smaller state, is actually home to not one variant of racer, but five. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you two of these variants that I got to get up close with while I was down here in South Louisiana. My name is Ethan Feintreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. The forests north, west, and east of Lake Pontchartrain are home to this, the Southern Black Racer. These snakes can grow to an astonishing six feet long, and the very first one I got to see wasn't far off. Woo! Oh my gosh! That thing is massive! He's looking at me. <laughs> you can see this snake is not happy with me, but I'm very happy with him because he is monstrous. Got a so we are measuring this snake. The right, yeah, he's about four nine, four ten. Wow, that is almost a five foot black racer. You've got my shirt. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's talk about the black racer and why it scares the living bejesus out of me. It is really strong. I can see that it's definitely eaten possibly another snake right here because it's really big. Why is this snake black? I mean, it really would pop out, wouldn't it? Well, if it's among a bunch of sticks, it definitely can camouflage, but it doesn't matter that it sticks out like a sore thumb because it's gone before you can get to it. They're strictly diurnal. This is not a species you'll, be, you'll see out at night. When this snake gets caught, the first thing it's gonna do is musk. So that is just a, something that it, it just lets out of its system that's uh, not poop or pee. It's meant to smell bad and it's meant to also pretty taste pretty bad. So any potential predators thinking, I don't want to eat that, that just it stinks. And then of course it will also try to bite the crap out of you. That is another very common defense for the black racer. This snake primarily actually will eat reptiles and other snakes. I bet you there's another snake in here right now. Maybe a cottonmouth. With how hard a time I am having with this snake when it comes to handling it, it definitely can overpower a cottonmouth pretty easily. It's, it's insane. And this snake, despite its super bitey nature and the fact that it grows ridiculously huge, uh, does not mean it's dangerous. This is a non-venomous species. I've been bitten two times now by the snake, and I, aside from a bit of pain when I got bit, I am completely fine. This snake is completely harmless. Does the snake make a good pet? No. You need a really large enclosure for the snake because of how much they move around and how fast they move around. It's just tall grass during the day where they can bask and stay hidden. That's where you find the snake often. You also have to feed them stuff like lizards and other snakes. Um, that's stuff that's gonna be very hard to find in captivity to feed the snake on a regular basis. Catching them is almost impossible. In fact, a black racer has actually been clocked at, at 10 miles an hour, believe it or not. Um, these guys are ridiculously quick and catching this one was almost impossible. In fact, Craig was the one who spotted it, but he wasn't able to catch it. And thankfully it started slithering toward me and I was able to get my hands on it. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake, but hopefully not a bitier snake. Moving down to the swamp south and west of Lake Pontchartrain, you will find this, the black masked racer. And like any other snake, catching one of these for the first time had me really excited. Looking, not really looking to. Holy big racer! Did you get him? Nope. Got him. Here, let me see if I can't. Holy massive racer! <laughs> okay. Okay, so this right here is the fastest snake here. There's no snake out here that is faster than this right here, the black masked racer. You can tell them from black racers because they're just simply not black. 
They definitely have that dark coloration on their face, and that's what gives them their name, Black Mask Razor. But they have much more of this greenish blue coloration. They do not hesitate to bite when you catch them. So it was hard not to get bit, and I did get bit once. They're not something you need to worry about, despite how much they like bite you if you do catch one. They're non-venomous, they're not gonna hurt you. What they do eat is other snakes, believe it or not. They oftentimes go after the little knolls around here, but sometimes if they're feeling really hungry and they want something big, they'll go after other snakes, including cottonmouths and copperheads if they wanted to. As soon as I let this guy go, we will not be able to catch him again because they're just simply that fast. And because the grass, the underbrush is so thick, these guys will be moving through the grass and you'll hear them, but you won't really see them. If you wanna see a black mass racer in Louisiana, you go to South Louisiana around New Orleans, just north of Lake Pontchartrain, you'll see the black racers, and then kind of in between, you might see integrates between the two, which are like hybrids. I'm gonna let this guy go and uh, see what else we can find out here in Louisiana. Now that you've seen these two variants of racer in Louisiana, hopefully, you now have a better sense of how impressive the reptilian biodiversity truly is here in Louisiana. And even this is still just the tip of the iceberg. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.